Hey guys, here at OSMVDXTreats.com. We have a very special treat for you today. We have an antique laptop that's fully running and working, and we're going to actually revisit back to Windows 98. That's a long time ago. Um, there you go. You can see that the, the 98 logo is, is on the side. It's by Tushba. This laptop is the T... Um, to T2130 CT series, it came back way back then, no wireless of course, but you did have a floppy drive and this is a fully compact laptop with an 8.9 inch display and it had its speakers and a QWERTY keyboard of course and you have that traditional kind of ThinkPad-esque style touchpad stuff and a hard drive that's pretty small, around 10 gigs I believe or even less um, and some basic mono speakers and VGA ports and the such on the back. It's very chunky and super thick as are all laptops of this era. You can see closing it, it's even the same color as the same computers of this era, which is gray, boring, and very old-fashioned. But uh, it's 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 huge. Um, I Well, let's see what I can use for comparison. For example, if I have a PDA product right now, it's... There you go. It's probably one, two, three, four, four PDAs thick. And iPhones are even thicker, so it's a super large computer super bulky but still it had some pretty interesting design features so there was your floppy disk uh, space there, was, there were no USB drives back then so you had to use serial connections and back here this was the mouse I'm going to pull that up for you right now so a mouse that I had connected if you don't want to use the, the ThinkPad style one was something like this old fashioned mouse and uh, you have some other connections. This is the, the, the AC adapter port that I'm charging it with because the battery is dead, of course. The VGA ports and some various other slots and ports. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not even going to attempt getting wireless working on this. There's no wireless, but they're probably you can probably connect to a landline and get basic connection to the internet, I hope. Because um, it would be really sad if you can't. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a power key on there. I'm going to turn it on. There we go. It's turned on. So the the machine itself, I'm not gonna. I don't even know how long it's gonna take to load because it's so old. But um, taking a look here, we can see that there are some um, two clicker buttons on the keyboard itself. It's a very plasticky keyboard. It's also very tiny. Um, it's very small, but uh, it's also kind of it's very interesting. Um, typing on this experience isn't half bad. But unlike traditional laptops, this actually isn't a mechanical keyboard. It's kind of like a traditional modern keyboard, which is unfortunate because I really like, uh, again, uh, mechanical keyboards. Um, a speaker is on the bottom of the device, and yeah, that's pretty much it. All we have to know. Let's wait for this thing to load. Um, back then, something like this was super expensive. It's probably like around 3000 US dollars, and um, it's not even considering tax, so it's crazy. But in these today's standards, I'm not sure how much this is going to um, going to cost, um, so, yeah, very interesting, let's see if this is going to load, and there you go, it loaded, uh, this is a wallpaper that I had back then, and hopefully you can revisit some of those classic wallpapers, and actually the surprising thing you'll be noticing after this device fully loads is Windows 95 compared to something like Windows XP isn't all that different, it's really, really sad, it shows that in terms of interface, and there hasn't been a huge revolution uh, in, in, in those in those days. But of course, in today's standard of Windows 8, which is completely redefined and really different. But as you can see, you know Windows 95, it's it wasn't that bad, and um, you had Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office, Excel. I actually was the other day when I was testing this, when I just got this at an auction, I was actually. Um, typing up Word documents, um, and it was working just fine um, on a Windows 8 computer when I put in my flash drive and then, you know, read it again. Um, of course, I saved it onto a floppy disk and then used a floppy reader, which is a USB to a modern computer. Uh, let's take a look at the display. It's actually kind of bright. Uh, actually, not a lot of viewing angle issues. Kind of surprising. It does get a little bit glary, but um, the screen is bright and vibrant, surprisingly. Uh, let's go and check out some of the goodies in the laptop. Um, I don't feel like using that. I'm going to use the mouse. So move over. The mouse is coming in. There you go. Zoom in into the screen. You can see on the bottom of the device, on the bottom of the screen, you have access to a charging icon. The battery is dead. A clock and a timer. There is a basic game. I don't know. This is Maze. You can see how animations are really slow. The processor underneath here is, I don't know. 
400 megahertz, it's very sluggish. But there's some megahertz that work, I'm going to click on that, and it's going to take a while to load. But you get the idea. Um, there's also Microsoft Network, uh, Windows Explorer, Recycle Bin, this is actually Word 97, Inbox, Solitaire Paint, Network, My Computer, Mine. Yeah, it's actually very surprisingly similar to what you have in today's standards. So now Word document is loading. Let's see how well this works. I don't know why this is freaking out the camera. And today? Oh, I said today I went to. This is my last saved one. You can see the interfacing is actually exactly the same as, um, as it is now except for some changes on the top header, which is very, very depressing. So again, I can type some random stuff, and uh, it's going to be sluggish at first, but then it's going to load just fine. And then I can format this text by, again, highlighting it. And, you know, I can change stuff like the font. What does 16 look like? I can change things like Times New Roman. Let's see how the fonts back then we had the same stuff in this super long list. So again, you know, in 10 years' time, or even 15 years' time, I just feel like uh, a long time ago, Windows, in terms of Windows 95, was pretty much set in stone, and it basically from then on onwards, Microsoft, in terms of interfacing, hasn't really changed, but of course, in networking and the web has really changed. But it's just interesting to see how this Windows 95 computer is still running just fine, and how it's actually relatively smooth, and even crazily, it's actually very very responsive right now I don't know what's happening it's not probably not supposed to be this responsive but probably because I haven't used up a lot of memory or anything lately you can probably save this up or I can just not save it and go out of it and I exit it out and now we're on the back of the home screen you can hear this very distinct clicky sound whenever the device wants to click 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 uh, which is interesting some other functions we can click on the start uh, classic games on the Windows 95 operating system were Mine and Paint. Those were basically the, the standards and the basic calculator. You can see on p Programs List, what do we have? I installed some programs on here. From There's some leftover from the previous user. Uh, like accessories, you can see facts. Oh, wow. <laughs> games like Solitaire and Minesweeper, Multimedia, like a media player. System Tools, Disk Space. Um, a ca calendar, a, a uh, character map. And we had a, a WordPad, which is just a simplified version of Microsoft Word, and a phone dialer. So if you wanted to call someone, I guess, using the serial connection. And there's applications that you downloaded here and some other stuff. Toshiba Card Manager for the PCM uh, Windows card setting. Toshiba Utilities. Uh, visual settings, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Exchange, um, Microsoft Network, and yeah, everything is kind of surprisingly there. There's some documents, there's some settings, and shut down. Um, Right-clicking on interface can actually get you some new icons that you can drag and drop. Again, the same thing from a today's standards from what was there back then. You can take these icons, rearrange them in different positions if you want to do something silly like that. Um, paint, let's open that up. It's always fun to take a look at. Um, inbox, probably for email or something like that. You can see paint hasn't really changed either for this super old computer, which is kind of scary. Uh, I can actually draw something like here. I'm going to do OS reviews. I'm going to become the R. It's uh, times like these, I wish I had a Wacom tablet or something, but as you can see, everything is working really nicely. You can paint stuff, and you can drag stuff. I can color things, and uh, I can make this my home screen, which is actually what I did a few days ago for... As you can see, though, there's no not enough memory, but let's close this on. Not enough memory to close this? What does this mean? It's crazy. But as you can see, this background is what I actually what I made a few days ago using this, and I changed it to my background. It's kind of neat as well. Uh, Solitaire, what you expect, Mine, Minesweeper, this is, this is a classic game back then. Um, basically click, 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 and then click, oh, I just died. So you can see that this hasn't really changed either. Um, so a lot of elements, surprisingly, of Windows 95 and in, even in today's standards hasn't really changed. And in terms of the display on this computer, it still remains fairly sharp, uh, not high definition by any standards or any stretch. But it's interesting to see this super old computer still up and running with its programs and everything is, is still surprisingly sufficient. Um, 
So yeah, that's just a look back uh, from some ancient history from a long, long time ago at the Tushba. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. T2130 CT series, Windows 95. So thanks for watching here at osmvtxtreviews.com. This has been a video look back.